ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Bunker Down series. So, we have a plan for this episode. And I'll show you guys what I did off camera here. Essentially what I've been doing is I've been quarantining off an area over here which I want to serve as like the central heart of our base. So the thing we're working on this episode is bonsai. To do this, we need stone bricks to make a bonsai pot. To get that, we just chuck this in here, select that, oh Jesus Christ. I have made more bricks than a man will ever need. What are these bricks used for? Can I like... Oh, okay. Really, I want... I might as well do five stacks since I made so many. Bam. Bonsai. We got a stack of bonsai pots. Now, let's figure out what saplings we have and what trees we want to grow. I believe as far upgrading. Oh. Fortune increases drop chance. Efficiency reduces grow time. Insert batteries to a hopper. Bee nests pollinate and get fruit drops. So we have to give them an axe of some kind, I guess? As far as these go, though, the only things we can grow here are trees. We can grow any tree here. Oh yeah, you see all of this... I'll show you the area I mined out. I got all of that just from clearing the area out for this. You can see this right here. So this, I want to make the hub for our base. So the first thing I want to do, off camera I'm going to bring the whole floor level with this layer right here. And this is going to be our ground level for our base in this season. There's a lot of weird noises down here, but I'm sure if we actually close this place in, that'll kind of quit. So we light this place up pretty good, and I'll show you how these bonsai pots work. I realize we're going to need a little bit of iron before that. This was just I needed to break a pickaxe so I could mine some stone. So the way these bonsai pots work, we need hoppers. Hoppers are important. Now the body count is starting to mount. Oh, that's the ceiling lamps. Those are pretty. For that, we're going to need iron, iron, and wood. Start that smelting. I got a little bit more coal I can put towards it. I have some wood here. We're going to have to make some extra chests. I want to save these for bonsai. We have three different trees to go right now. So we want a double chest per, so we can have two bonsai per chest. Actually, we can have a lot more than that if we want to here. We just have to wait on this iron to smelt. That should be plenty. So we need to make a stupid amount of hoppers. We got nine hoppers. Okay, that should be plenty for my plan. So let's go down here now and let's set up some automatic wood production. I have to light all that up too. How about this wall right here? Let's go. That should be plenty. 
bam, and let's slap bonsai on each of these. Now, if I interact with this, it needs a sapling, a dirt, and it needs an axe. So let's, these two, mineral, these two, jungle, and these two, oak. Okay, let's go grab some dirt and let's make a couple axes. This place actually right nearby has a stupid amount of copper, so I'll burn some copper axes for this. I believe there's a massive vein right here. Ooh, dimensional ore. Coal? Gimme. <clears throat> it, weirdly enough, having the lines here, I know it's probably hard for you guys to watch, but it makes it easier for me to see what's happening. I want to get more stuff here. I found out in our last playthrough, the uh, Create New Age is just not a very feasible way to generate power at the very least. So what is this structure? Oh my god. I don't know, I can't. I'm not gonna climb it over there, so. Hi. Huh. That should be plenty, though. Let's go get it smelted down. Okay, that should be plenty of copper. Let's make these axes. Six. That's exactly how many I need. And let's see, do we have any dirt? If not, that's fine because there's actually a vein of dirt down here in the mine I can go get. right here a little over a hundred pieces which is way more than we need but it'll do for now I don't know why I keep getting blindness I wonder if there's like there's like a goblin trader with the blindness perk maybe X and now these are just running and these are just going to produce the trees, chop them down, and toss it in here. And it seems like it doesn't use the durability of the axes either, which is nice. So, with that, we now have mineral being produced, jungle, and oak. And I'm going to chuck these things in their respective chests here. So there's some automatic tree production. Well, now that that's over, let's go head up to the surface and get some more saplings. Did I pause? Axe acquired, let's head up. I want to get at least one more type of wood that we can automate down there. Because, I mean, really, I would like spruce and fir, and that's, that's about all I want. Although some of the patterned birches might be good for tiles. Holy crap, this place is growing over fast. Oak, oak, oak. Mineral, but I just stole the leaves off of that one. If I erase my kill list, everybody dies. Okay, let's see if we can find what we're looking for now. There's more mineral. Really, we only need one of each sapling here. I thought we found birch saplings. 
but I don't know what we did with them. Is that a possessed pig? No, it's just black. <laughs> that sounds a little racist, but it's not. That's not why I don't like that pig. That's completely unrelated. What are you? Oh, bronze seashell. Ooh. This is a uh, deep slate basalt biome. Interesting. There's a ruined portal here. Holy crap. Helmet. Multi jump. Holy crap. We got three jumps now. And I broke my leg. <sighs> is there some kind of... S some kind of splint I can make? It costs textile thread and planks? Oh no. Well, it looks like I have to die now. The lucky scarf is kind of insane. Chance cubes, chance cubes. There's a gold block up there. Well, why don't we open up this chance cube and see what happens. Maybe it'll kill us and we can just run back over here and pick our stuff up. Actually, maybe I should make a chest and put my stuff in the chest. Oh, we've got some time this episode. Why don't we open some chance cubes? I've got like ten... But maybe I should wait until I have a lot more. I'm kind of hoping this one kills us, though. Oh, fortune, too? Let's make some distance. I didn't take my armor off, huh? There you go. There are some of these that I know just shoot TNT out in every direction, so. Oh! A free pumpkin pie kit. Hmm. That's neat. Too bad I have to die. What is this? Oh, this is one of the abandoned camps, isn't it? Oh no, this is a uh, bandit outpost, huh? We wait to drown. Okay, and we're back without a broken leg. There's our stuff back. This, some of this stuff I have to manually put on here. Bracelet and trinket. Bam. And backpack. Bam. Okay. So it's good to know those chance cubes can actually have some super convenient stuff in them. Red oak, huh? I wonder if we can get the different flavors of tree to grow in our bonsai so we could have different colored leaves to decorate with. Pickaxe, torch, pickaxe, axe, axe. I'll leave this stuff here and we'll take another look around. Holy crap, what am I looking at? Another tower. Tell you what, this multi-jump is dangerous, especially without slime boots. What are you? Just a gravestone? Holy crap, this person was loaded. Oh my god. T. 
10 chance cubes and better gloves than I have. And a real nice iron pickaxe. 10 chance cubes, huh? Ooh, seeds. Industrial hemp. That's actually a good string replacement for early on. <coughs> Let's whack one of these trees down. See if we can get that red oak sapling. There it is. Red oak sapling. So if I get these... I can grow red oak trees. And that way I can just get all the drops from these that I want. What the hell? Oh, weird. Wait a minute. So something tells me. What are you? Oh! <gasps> Power armor! Holy crap! There's power armor here! Okay, fuck the seeds. Fuck the rotten flesh. This stuff is actually super useful. We can upgrade it into power armor chassis, and I believe we can make fusion cores out of old armor, if I'm not mistaken. So we need to spend a little bit of time under the ocean this game. So what the hell is this? There's some kind of like massive island here. I can't... I can't see anything that high. Yeah, there's something big up there. Good to know that's where unearth power armor spawns, though. Because this stuff is actually super rare, and I believe that's the only way, or one of the only ways, you can get that. I want to go in here in a way that I can get back out, so corner it is. This is some kind of, like, abandoned campsite, right? One of the zombie extreme structures. Is this some kind of drowned bandit camp? Well, there's nothing. Ooh, magma? Huh. Oh, it is. There's a little island here. A smaller one next to the massive one. Let's head towards the bunker this way and see if we run across anything along our path. It, uh, it'll probably be... Well, we'll check out some of these little offshoot islands, I guess. See what we can find. Blaze gold. That's pretty useful don't have any kind of wood to make a boat, so we go on foot. Aha! Uh -huh. What's this? Another structure. Anything in this one? <coughs> no, nothing. I kind of wish when you looked at a structure it would tell you what mod made this structure. I know there's a lot of these uh, electricity towers. Or telephone poles. I don't know which one it is technically, but it's, it's one of the two. That's beautiful. Too bad I don't have time to be sticking around for it. Flower patch? Tiny lily pads? 
or clovers. Wait. Oh, that's the tower. There's the bunker. I want to take out some animals here. And then I want to hit my item drop on the way back. Because these carcasses and the wool is super nice. Especially considering we're probably not going to have access to them underground for a long time. And I'm kind of building my character in a way that I don't have to ever really surface again or building my base. So I want to be very thoroughly ready for that. What are you? Oak tree orchard. We could probably get fruit out of this. I know sometimes you don't get a single sapling out of them. That does just happen sometimes. Sometimes we're unlucky like that. And in that case, we just chop down another. Oh, you can climb the orchard leaves. Ah! That was almost death. This is an apple orchard. Oh, I wonder if you can't actually get these saplings. I mean, we do get a lot of wood per tree. I think we can't actually get those because it's not a specific tree. It's just generally a fruit tree. Dude, there's a lot of oil around here. I'm gonna become a baron. Especially if the other guys decide to get on on this one. Oak tree mega orchard? What if I do this? Big tree coming down. Whoa. And it's just chilling there. Good God. What are you? You are jungle tree lime species. Ooh, fancy. Ow. What happened? Did the tree... F oh, the tree fell on me, didn't it? God, I'm an idiot. The dynamic trees probably just don't really drop saplings most of the time. This is just a water well. White flowers, actually pretty nice. Blueberries, hello. Obtain blueberries. What mod are you from? Oh, the biomes you'll go. Oh, is this like a rare silver maple? Ooh. It's still really cool to me watching these trees fall. Hey, we did get a sapling from that. So we can probably grow that. Which means I want to search and see if I can get some of these other saplings. Gotta start at the base. <clears throat> Oh, oops. I don't know when I paused. And I don't know what you guys missed. But I'll run through what I have here. Red maple. Sunny blossom. Fur cone. And I found this stuff in an asteroid. I don't know if that was on camera or not. Palm trees. Species. Coconut. No, uh, no coconuts for me. A very sadness permeates my being in its entirety. Oh, this guy died kissing a cactus. That's so sad for him. 
He died doing what he loved, touching a cactus. Let's grab some stuff from our item drop and let's head back to base. I'll, uh, I'll see you guys back at base. Okay, we've made it back to base. Oh. It's not the most secure feeling in the world when I can see the ground underneath me. And I know that's not my safe space. That's just abyss. Let's dump all of the wood-related stuff here. Toss these and some of this other stuff here. This, I believe, is all the saplings we ended up with. Now, I want to take these. thought I had a bunch of extra axes on me. What'd I do with all those copper axes I had? Hi, Hero Brian. Hi, Brian. I don't know. For now, let's see what of these saplings we can automate. Let's see what kind of progress we have down here. Holy crap. That's so much stuff. Okay. Now let's do red and silver maple here. Oh, I can't can't do any of these. Good to know. So the dynamic trees is not compatible. But I got some nice wood out of it, so that's fine. That'll be it for this episode. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.